Robert, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you? Thanks for joining us, Robert. Hey, it's my pleasure to be here. Is this McGraw? That's me. Hey, and, McGraw. And your last name is Crace? Crace. Rhymes with Trace. You got it. Robert Crace. Book is suspect. Let's sell some books for you. <laughs> You're on, buddy. All right. Here we go. Uh, how long do I have you for? 15 minutes? Does yes, that work? Sir. 15 minutes work? Yep. Okay, good. All right. Here we go. Uh, three, two, one. Tonight at St. Louis County Library, 7 p.m., our next guest will be there. He's a New York Times best-selling author, Robert Crace. His new book is called Suspect. Robert, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Hey, it's great to be with you, McGraw. Appreciate it. The new book is Suspect, but you got your start years ago writing for television shows, including Hill Street Blues, Cagney and Lacey, Miami Vice, L.A. Law, and Hold On, The Best of the Best, you were a writer for Quincy? I was. I was a baby writer on Quincy. That's where I, I, I had my beginning, man. Uh, I was only four years old. Then, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Quincy, we, we, Quincy. Well, we're, we're huge Jack Klugman fans, clearly. Uh, but Quincy was was like they qu they should bring back Quincy. You know, I, uh, I I literally owe I think my entire career, my book career, my TV career before the books, uh, all to Jack. I was a brand new uh, baby writer, and I use that literally. I was the youngest writer on the, on the Universal lot. I had just gotten to town the year before, had written a couple of freelance scripts for another series, and uh, and somehow or another, uh, uh, Jack got got wind of me of of my writing, and I think he'd seen one of my earlier scripts, and he called me, and I was 22 years old, and. Uh, I didn't know anything. I have, I, honestly, I didn't have a clue as to as to how to do television or to do uh, a TV show. And he hired me to be the head writer on Quincy and uh, taught me, I think, probably everything I need to know. I, I refer to Jack as my own university because it was an intensive, great, wonderful experience. And was it your idea to make Quincy a ladies' man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was Jack's idea, <laughs> and he was a ladies' man. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Now, you, you were you always a crime writer? Yeah, I've I've been reading this stuff since I was a kid, like fourteen or fifteen years old. I uh, I discovered Raymond Chandler uh, in in a, in a secondhand bookstore, and I'll be honest with you, the only reason I picked up the old battered the paperback because it had this this picture of a really good looking chick on the cover. Uh, and I, I fell in love with, with the whole notion of, of noir fiction and crime fiction and suspense thrillers. Devoured the stuff. And as, as, a, as a storyteller, it, it simply was the kind of world I wanted to work in. So, yeah, when I got to, to L.A., I, I worked on cop shows exclusively. And then when I decided I wanted to be a novelist, of course, it was, uh, it was a natural extension to just want to write crime thrillers. Uh, Robert Kress is our guest. His new book is called Suspects. Tell us about the book. Uh, oh, man, it's totally different for me, McGraw. I, uh, it's my 19th book, and it's about, um, uh, it's about uh, a canine handler uh, on the LAPD police force and, uh, and his dog, Maggie, who's a German shepherd. Uh, only they're not the usual canine handler and uh, the usual patrol dog. Uh, Scott James, the handler, uh, the year before was hoping to be a SWAT officer. When he was still a patrol officer, he got into a horrible gunfight by accident. Uh, and he lost his partner, and he himself was horribly wounded, and uh, no one really wants him on the job anymore. They, they, they think he should take a medical and get gone. Uh, Maggie was uh, a USMC military working dog in Afghanistan, sniffing out bombs. And one day, a suicide bomber kills her handler, and a sniper tries, tries to kill her. But she survives, and she, too, has PTSD like Scott, because dogs can have PTSD. And, sure. and, uh, and they come out of that uh, downrange theater often with, uh, with, with, with emotional problems. That, uh, she was, there was an attempt made to, to resurrect her, but she ends up being retired out of the military and ultimately donated to LAPD's canine platoon, who don't really want her because they think she's unfit. She has PTSD. And she and Scott cross paths, and they partner up. And the story then is a crime thriller about uh, Scott trying to find the people who killed his partner and shot him. But at the same time, it's about the love that grows between this man and his dog and how they need each other in order to heal. Uh, and it was one of the most emotional books I think I've ever written. Uh, Robert Kreis is with us. His new book is called Suspect. He's a New York Times number one best-selling author, Taken. You might remember that. He's, as you said, he's written 19 books. Where did you come up, Robert, with this idea? It sounds 
Uh, it's you, you can't just make all this stuff up. You clearly have to do quite a bit of research on Huge it. Huge amount of research. Uh, it actually grew out of, of a, I wasn't looking for a book at all. I was trying to deal with the loss of my own dog. I, I had a big Akita for, for 12 years, and he was my guy. Uh, and when I lost him, I just felt just a horrible amount of grief. And every time I thought about getting a new dog, I felt disloyal. Uh, and I wanted to read up on, on that whole human canine bonding and to just to, just frankly McGraw to see if I was crazy. Uh, but as I began to read into that and about dogs and dog behavior and perception, that led to uh, the type of tight bonds that occur between um, military canine handlers and their dogs and, and police uh, uh, canine handlers and their patrol dogs. And once that world was open to me, I found it exciting and dangerous and interesting because Dogs are a fascinating, fascinating subject, and I grew obsessed with it and decided I, I have to write about this. What, what's unbelievable is now we're learning more and more about how these dogs are coming back with these mental problems. Yeah, they do. Dogs suffer uh, a canine PTSD and show symptoms that are identical to the symptoms shown by, uh, by, by human beings. Uh, they have sleep disorders, they'll withdraw, they have exaggerated startle response, on and on. And when attempts are made to treat them for this, oftentimes the, the treatments are exactly the same. For example, they're given exactly the same anti-anxiety med medications that people are, things like Ativan or, or, or Xanax. Um, the problem, of course, with a dog is unlike a person where talk therapy is the primary mode of therapy for, for dealing with PTSD, dogs, of course, can't talk. So it, it's a very long process to try to retrain them and, and deal with their symptoms. And thankfully, the government recognizes this. So dogs suffering from PTSD coming out of the theater uh, are, 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 are treated and retrained at Lackland Air Force Base to a greater or lesser extent. Yeah, Robert Crace, our guest, he'll be in St. Louis tonight, 7 p.m., for a book signing and a book reading at St. Louis County Library right across the street from Brio there on Lindbergh. Uh, his new book is called Suspect. Robert, when you start a book like this, do you know where you're going, or do you sort of figure it out once you get there? A little of both, McGraw. I mean, I'm, I'm an outliner. Not all writers are. I do try to figure out the overall story before I begin, you know, the plot. But invariably, when, when, when you get to, to writing and bringing the characters to life, things changed. And, and, and that's what happened here. I, uh, you know, I, I, I actually fell in love with this dog. I, uh, you know, she's, she's my ideal dog. If I were going to get another dog, I'd want it to be Maggie. And the, the cop thriller part of this sort of changed, too, because as I did more research into canine handlers uh, on the police force, I, I, I soon learned that it is actually the single most dangerous job op occupation of any police department. You are more likely to be shot, stabbed, or involved in a violent physical confrontation if you were a canine dog handler than if you were a SWAT officer or an undercover narcotics officer. It is a super high-stress, very, very dangerous job. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood. Would you sell to Hollywood? This sounds like a perfect Hollywood movie. Uh, I, you know what? We're in talks right now. Uh, it, 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 I think it would make a perfect movie. And there's, so far, there's a growing interest in Hollywood. The, the book was just published on Tuesday, last Tuesday. Uh, and already we're getting uh, we're we're in talks and we're getting a lot of interest and bites. So I have my fingers crossed. There might be a motion picture. Will they allow you to write the screenplay? <laughs> you know, I um, I don't really want to write the screenplay. I've I've done that before with uh, earlier books of mine. I, I wrote a novel called Hostage, which was filmed as a, a, a by by Bruce Willis. Um, I, uh, other of my books have gone to screen. I think what I'd rather do with this book, because I'm so involved with Maggie, is to is to get to work on another book and, and let a, a screenwriting professional take over. See, because I've always had the opinion they don't let the writers of the books write the screenplay, but I think the few times they do, the, the movie is always better because the screenwriter it understands the topic better than anybody else. Well, you could be right. So it sounds like you're convincing me to write the screenplay. I, I, Robert, I'm telling you, write the screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Hollywood, you know, they're like, well, you've never written a screenplay. But it's like, shut up. That's the dumbest reason in the world for someone not to write a screenplay. Well, I, you know what? There's, there's a lot of truth to what you say. Oftentimes, the, 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 the writer of the novel 
uh, knows the characters far better than someone coming in from the outside. But it is an art. I mean, the art, the screenwriting is 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 different from novel uh, from writing a novel. You know, the book is bigger. I mean, here it is. It's like three, four hundred pages, and the right. screenplay is only about a hundred, hundred and ten pages. So you, you have to know what to leave in, what to take out, and sometimes it's. Um, Sometimes because you're making it much shorter, you know, you have to you have to really address the characters in a different way and make some changes that are necessary. But I'll tell you, no one will ever love these characters more than me, and I think it could do a good job. Yeah, Robert Crace, our guest tonight, 7 p.m. at St. Louis County Library for a book signing and a book reading for his brand new book, Suspect. Robert, we have a lot of uh, authors who listen to the show. You left Louisiana and uh, left and went to Hollywood. What what advice would you give a writer just starting out? If, if you, uh, well, here's the first advice. Uh, keep writing. Write every day. Uh, it, 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 it needs to be an obsession in your life. Uh, if, you're, uh, if, you're, if you want to be a novelist, uh, never, when you finish the first book, immediately start the second one. If you're coming to Hollywood and you want to be a screenwriter, um, it's a tough gig, man. So, so be prepared. And the same thing, don't quit. The number one reason people fail at being a writer or carrying through their job is they, is they get tired of the rejections. You know, it's a way of life. Before I sold my first piece, I had 116 rejections. So you just have to keep pushing ahead. That's uh, great advice. Robert Christ, the book is Suspect. Uh, safe trip into St. Louis. We'll see you tonight at St. Louis County Library. Uh, I'm going to have fun. I hope you will, too. You got it. Robert Christ with us, who has written the book Suspect. Tonight, 7 p.m. for a book signing and a book reading at St. Louis County Library. Back in a moment, Big 550 KTRS. Is he still there?